Hello, it is December 2nd, 2012, and I'd like to show you a little bit about uh, Offbooks version 0.7. You can find it on GitHub at this address here, github.com jhpullen offbooks downloads. You can um, download this file here. It's going to look like this. Double click it. And you'll see the Offbooks logo. I can start it by double clicking it. And it's going to show a default sample playing right away. This comes with the uh, app. I'm going to show you some of the features that you're able to access through the keyboard. If you're using the Korg Nano control, you can do a little bit more. But there are some basic things you can do with the keyboard only. One of the things is to configure the, um, the projections of the screen. So there's six screens and you can um, change the screens by just pressing number one to change screen number one and then move your mice, mouse around and move the corners around. For number two you can do the same thing. There's nothing playing in screen number two now and you can keep going until screen number six. In order to show something in screen number two, what you can do is hit shift two, and it's gonna um, sh play the same sample that you see in screen number one. Same for screen number three, you can do shift three, and you'll, you'll see the three screens in there. Uh, full screen, or you can hide the, the little grids by pressing a number twice. So right now, pressing three twice, and you'll you'll see that the chain it's uh, the the lines disappear. I can go to full screen mode by Shift F, and you'll see that everything disappears. So this is typically the mo mode you'll be in when you're um, performing. Okay. So I'm going to do Shift F again to go back to uh, window mode and to exit I can do Escape. I'm hitting Escape now. So let's uh, let's use our own samples. I do that by going to the Finder and going to my Movies and create. I'm going to create a folder here called books with capital P and I'm going to move these two movies in there like that. I'm going to go back to books, start it again and now you'll see it's playing the first sample of the two samples that I, I uh, moved into that folder. I can do the same tricks here. I'm hitting one right now, changing screen number one. Do the same with screen number two. And the only difference here now is that I, if I hit Q, the letter Q, or the letter W, I can change between the samples. And this goes, you can have up until like 26 samples all the way from Q, W, E, R, T, all the way down to M. And um, yeah, so you can sort of uh, play around. This also works if you, uh, if you get rid of the lines. So you can also use it during a performance, which is in full screen mode, like this. Um, if you want to show this second screen, you can just do Shift 2 again. And now if you hit W, it's going to change both samples here. And if you want to change them independently, there's a little trick you can do by hiding one. For instance, I'm going to hide screen number one by doing Shift 1. Now I'm going to change screen number two to a different sample and then show the first screen again. So now you can sort of program all your different screens to, to be in 
to be playing different samples. That's it for now. There's more uh, features that, uh, that are sort of hidden because I didn't implement all the features um, that I have on the Korg Nano Control, uh, uh, MIDI controller, just for time's sake. But um, this should give you a good start. And yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks.